I don't. I swear to God, I had no idea that was her wife. She should have come with a warning label. Well, I've cheated too. That's true. With Nat, you or on Nat. You cheated on Nat, that's right. She's got trust issues. Well, it's Anthony Allen Ramos from GLAAD. Nice to see both of you. So, okay, season two, we have so many questions. I know I can't get the spoilers, but give me just a little preview of how what we're gonna see unfold with this season because we, the queer community, has been waiting for it and it's almost here. Um, well, I can tell you that I think there, there are some relationships that blossom that you are definitely not gonna be expecting. And okay. then there are also some that end that you won't be expecting. Like, just to give you the juicy, like, soapy side of it all. Oh, Lots I love the juicy, now. soapy side. <laughs> and I do. <laughs> and, and, I, and I think that for every character, where they begin and where they end up are in places that they would never in a million years expect. Oh, the character themselves? The character themselves. Never, yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay, that sounds good. I mean, there were so many OMG moments last season. I can only imagine what you have in store. Um, but, you know, I also love, and I, I think most people know that you're both executive producers on this series. So, you know, knowing that, you know, just thinking about the show coming back after so long last season and then seeing everyone just love it all again, a whole new wave of fans getting to know these stories. What was it like for you to see, you know, everyone so excited that these characters were back on TV? I thought we still got it. <laughs> <laughs> You did? I don't know. <laughs> well, when I saw the reaction, I mean, you know, it's it's one thing, you know, it, it, you never know. You just, you really never know. Not every reboot works and this one does. And right. It's, and it's and it's a privilege to be a part of that. Yeah. yeah. But our reference point was, of course, our own personal excitement to play these characters again. So I kind of look at it that way. Like, if it was that exciting to us, it must be just as exciting to like watch it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And, and what we love, obviously, so much is this, this reboot really is including storylines about trans people and just so many different walks of life. How important is it for you, you know, to really just make it a top line priority to tell these stories? Because I think we are in such a moment of change right now for the queer community. And, you know, people like we know at GLAAD, they look to what they see on television. Well, you it, know, it, obviously that's what GLAAD is all about. It's about mm -hmm. representation, which we've known from the beginning is the most important thing, especially as people who grew up in a time where we didn't have any of that, right? Mm -hmm. So to see yourself, you know, reflected on television or in the movies is I think paramount to, to shaping your, your way in the world. And like it, really this show, what it, I think it has always done is sort of normalize um, our, our queer lives through just like showing people, not always getting on the soapbox and saying like, this is, here's who we are. It's like, just, it's just like the subtleties of your life and the, and the, the similarities we have to anybody, right? Because our yeah. overarching theme is always love that like, we're all the same. And like through showing your daily lives is like doing that work in itself. And it's, it's, you know, and, and representation is important, but I also think it's, that's the bare minimum that anyone does. What's important after that is creating characters and creating stories that are poignant, that are impactful. So it's going to open people's eyes, help answer questions, help anything and, 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 and make it a conversation. Yeah, and, and you know, it's so funny. I was thinking with the original run of the show, like that's pre-Instagram, there was no Twitter. Now, for you all to have this reboot that people are loving so much and obviously a new wave of fans, but then the loyal fans from the first time, what has it been like to kind of interact with people on social media and get to see how much, you know, these storylines mean to them? Well, it's, it, it's huge. And actually what you're saying was a big part of wanting to reboot the show to begin with, because we were, once social media kind of hit all of our lives, we were, people were like, I miss the L word, or I wish I knew what happened to them, or where would they be now? And if we could only see them, and we were like, wait a minute, like nothing ever followed the L word, like we thought it was going to. So we were like, we have to bring the show back. It's just, we have to, there's no two ways about it. And it's wild to have that, you know, immediate response uh, and feedback, but it, you, I, and I, but I think you have to be mindful not to let that dictate where storylines are going to go, or what's going to happen to characters. It's, it's, you have to have a very healthy relationship with that and not have it dictate. True. Crazy. 
the fine line with social media. We definitely know that. Um, you know, just thinking about with both of you having been actors successfully for a long time, how is, you know, thinking back on the two experiences of the original run and then obviously with this reboot, how would you even compare the two, you know, just both of you being a part of the community, you know, showing this representation, how would you describe like the differences between, I guess, the experience that you, that you had? Well, the original show, there was no expectation. Mm -hmm. It hadn't existed yet. We didn't know what the show was gonna become, even though we all kind of felt shooting the pilot, oh, this could really be something special. We didn't know that it would turn into what it was. And with the reboot, there was an expectation because of that. And it's like, well, can we match that expectation? And, you know, I think that was the concern, the fear, the hope, the, and, 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 and really at the end of the day, you just got to be honest and do your job and, and, and stay and, and be as authentic as humanly possible. Um, but that is the biggest difference I think I saw. Wait, should you want to add anything to that? Yeah. I mean, I think it was about keeping up with the Joneses, you know, like mm -hmm. coming back and making sure we're, um, you know, just, it was almost like playing catch up because the world had changed so much in those 10 years that it was like, not only did we have the responsibility of telling the stories about where the characters we knew are in, that we play and where they'd be today, but like, okay, let's bring on a whole new generation of people. And like, you know, we're older and we have to like learn from, you know, from these, these awesome people. Like we, we listen, we don't write the show. Kate and I don't write the show or Jennifer, you know, so we play a different role, but we, we need to make sure that we're all, like Kate said, it's always coming from an authentic, honest place. And then you can never really argue with that. Yeah, and it's so true. And, you know, before I let you go, I have to ask, I mean, I don't know how much I'll get, but uh, <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell coming on, I mean, yeah. for as an actor, but also as a producer, that's like a dream get. So, I mean, how excited, how excited are you, you know, to have Rosie a part of this? Rosie O'Donnell is, she exceeds all expectations. Mm -hmm. And not only is she amazing as a human being, her performance is amazing. She's playing against type, which I, it's so refreshing and exciting to watch. And I, she, to me, she's MVP. Yeah, she really, first of all, she's an incredible actress. And I don't know if people talk enough about that, mm -hmm. but, um, her her role in the show is so amazing and also like to have her on set we're all basically fighting to see who gets to work with rosie o'donnell next season if she comes back or like no it's got to be me for sure i mean i definitely have to work with you know but like yeah. <laughs> she's, she's outstanding yeah we love her but thinking about the impact of rosie you know being an inspiration to so many queer people and continuing to do such great work. Did you find that inspiration when you were, you know, seeing Rosie before in the nineties and making all those strides for the community? I was yes. just, yeah, but I would just be on set with her and I'd look at her and I would just, I, I would just have quotes of a league of their own run through my head mm -hmm. nonstop. And there was a couple times where it slipped out and she was so good humored about it and she didn't care. She's as, as easy and as- She's the most unguarded person unguarded. you'll ever meet. Like if you, even if you ask her like gossip, like, okay, come on, tell me about it. She'll tell you She's it. like, oh honey, so this happened and then that happened. Yeah, she, there's nothing <laughs> precious about Rosie. So she wasn't offended that I said that. But for me, it's like you quietly fangirl. It's like, I grew up watching you. Yeah. You yeah. Very important. And she came out of the closet at a time when it was like, people had like yeah. their big coming out. You know, it was like, you know, she's a legend. Yeah. She is a queer legend for sure. And both of you are as well. Thank you so much for the time. We are so excited for season two. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I mean, I have so many questions, but yeah. I, but also it's like, I'm excited <laughs> for the ride. I'm excited for my, you know, weekly episode. I'm not a binger. I like to enjoy it, you know? Oh, you, oh, oh, nice. you're, oh you're a rarity. Okay. I try, well, you know, but you know, sometimes I can't help myself. But I um, can't centric TV watching. Exactly. <laughs> But um, hopefully we'll get to see you at the GLAAD Awards again soon. I feel like we're getting there, although it's- oh, I hope I so. Have, yeah. Yes, absolutely. scary like again, good. but we'll, we're, uh, we're gonna get there for sure. Of course we will. Excellent, we'll be there.